Standing right next to Sumo there, ready for kickoff. Eighty minutes of rugby league. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Kicked long by Sumo. Plenty of air time. Fielded well by the number one for the Razorbacks. And straight away, great attacking play from the Razorbacks, making their way to the middle of the field, about 20 metres out from their own try line. Tiger out a dummy half. Met by a strong tackle by Manitao with uh, Aquila coming over the top. Bit of slow play the ball there. Tiger steps into dummy half. Looking for work there. Just a bit slow to find their, their rhythm here early on with players lining out, looking for work on both sides. Beasley comes out to the left. Ball hits the deck there. Call is knock on from Junior. What are you seeing early on, Mark? Yeah, a bit slow to start both teams, I think. I'll be looking to build on that. As the Savage will go on the attack from the scrum here. Do you find this new scrum? You know, obviously, last year we weren't too big on the scrum. We tried to bring it out of the game and it's found its way back in. Is it a positive or a negative? to be uh, playing the traditional. I've got to be honest, I think I enjoyed not having them. There you go. I felt, you know, I felt the same way as uh, the ball is fed from the San Francisco side. Sumo comes out to Lungi, bounces one off, and then wrestled back by two hungry Razorbacks players. Plays out to the left-hand edge here. Referee's whistle's loud. Looks like he's found an offside man there. I think Coach Tiger might have had a word to him at the scrum there. It seemed to be a lot more energy in those first two tackles in defence there. Quite nice, a San Jose afternoon as the sun sets. Manitao with the ball. Big Vili. Again, wrestled to the ground by a hungry defender. Good intent on the one-on-one -on -one tackles by the Razorbacks as Manitao into dummy half. Plays off to Matangi. Still going, driving the legs, looking to get the ball free. Always a handful. Still going. Gets the offload there to the number eight, Manitao. Wrestled to the ground. They're very, very close to the try line here, Mark. Another big charge. And physical defense there from the Razorbacks as he goes himself from dummy half. No way through. Go back and play the ball. That's the call. Five metres out from the try line, San Francisco. Ball finds the deck of the hands of the number two. Looks like Tino is out there backing up for his second game of the day. That's commitment to the cause. He'll want that play back, but great player. Sam Tiger working the metres out of his own territory there. Deep in their own half. Looking for a break here at the Razorbacks through the hands of Beasley. Got to be really happy with the defensive resolve there. Keeping the Savage out. It's a good run from Beasley there. Picks up 15 to 20 yards. Still going. It's always hard to bring down. Back steps into 
dummy half and referee's whistle blows. A bit too quick to go from Marker there. Clear penalty. What do you call this? The sort of feeling out phase of the game. Yeah, it's sort of certainly amped up after that first set. Kick, yep. kick for touch here from the Razorbacks. Finds it quite comfortably. Great fill position for the Razorbacks. Let's see what they've got here in attack. First attacking raid from the Razorbacks here. Looking to get first points of the afternoon. About 20 metres out from the try line on the left-hand edge of the field. Big Max goes for a dart. There's no one there. And he goes over to bring up the first points of the afternoon. Junior blows to the spot. Scores a 4-0. Yeah, just open up there on the short side. Yeah, very soft defence, you'd have to say. No one really home, and yeah, it was off play. he goes. It was a good play. I think they had all the, all the defence out to their left edge. They thought that's the way it was going. A little trick play down the short side, and a great try to get proceeding started here. Yeah, those are the, those are the opportunities you really got to take. Not too many are going to come so early in the game, and Razorbacks capitalise off. Pretty soft defence, you'd have to say. Yeah, and as you say, you just got to capitalise on those opportunities when you get down in good field position. Unfortunately for the Savage, uh, just a drop ball there on the fifth tackle when they were trying to create some pressure. But the Razorbacks, on the other hand, go down there and first play, they're in for points. Try score a max in the red headgear. Always seems to get his name on the uh, try scoring sheets, doesn't he? Old Maxi boy, good on you, sir. Savage make their way back through with the Razorbacks uh, lining up for the kick. About seven and a half minutes down in this contest. Uh, early points from the Razorbacks, but like we alluded to at the start of the game, it's going to be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, the one thing the four previous clashes have taught us, there'll be uh, plenty of points and it'll be a seesawing battle. Big shifts of momentum. You'll see one team get on top for, you know, 10 minutes and then the other team will come screaming back into the contest. Kick unsuccessful there. Razorbacks. Scores remain. 4-0. See the jerseys that the boys are wearing available now at Fire Apparel's website. Jump on championshiprugbyleague.com. Also, fans in the UK are watching. Check out Lammy Sports for both sides training apparel. Deep kick there by the San Francisco side. Fielded by the Razorbacks, number 20, who pushes away from two. Powerful run there. He's been good for them, hasn't he? Tali, brother of Sioni, I believe. Yeah, right. Sioni's just uh, headed off to Denver with the American Raptors. Also, Jeff's out there. Good luck to those boys uh, in their upcoming season. Talented family. Double team there by uh, Matangi and Manatau. Out of dummy half go the Razorbacks, picking up some good meters. On halfway. Aggressive tackle there. They shake hands after. <laughs> Chips over the top. Good play there by the, the Razorbacks, taking the best uh, of their opportunities while they've got them there. Enterprising play from the Savage coming out of their own end. Yeah, great field position. You know, Razorbacks are taking their opportunities, you know, at both 
both attack uh, and defended quite well on their own try line there, Mark. Yeah, it's been clinical. They will drill it, as we've talked about under Coach Sam. <laughs> Picks up 10 metres again. Good defence from the Razorbacks here. Tries something to the other side. Rubbers through. They're coming through. Ball finds its way into touch. It'll be the Razorbacks' ball. Yeah, enterprising play again there coming out of their own end. It was just, uh, it was the right idea. He had the numbers there. Just the execution letting down a little bit. Just put a little bit too much on it. But apart from that, if it... If there's a little less on it, it could have been a runaway savage try there. But I like seeing that, Tom. Chance in their arm, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's good. Both teams have been doing that, and why not? It's only 4 0 early on in the contest. Oh, big collision there. Love to see it. Brought down on the halfway line. 10 minutes into the contest. Razorbacks with good field position. Referee's picked up something there in the play of the ball. <laughs> the eagle eye of uh, referee junior does not miss much. Uh, for those longtime fans of uh, Championship Rugby League, uh, Johnny Ashton, the English legend, has agreed to come down to Las Vegas to do the Islanders versus Steelers match. I imagine that wasn't too hard a sell, Tom, to get someone to go to Vegas for the weekend. Newly single. <laughs> Even more so. Sun making its way onto the backside of the field there. As Manitow jumps into dummy half, Savage with good field position, but the Razorbacks have had a great wall of defense as well, so battle begins. Comes to the right side. Switch, finds Lungy Lungy. He's going to be hard to stop that close to the line. Brought down about two meters from the try line. A desperate tackle needs to be made. Manitow jumps out. And again, just short. And then Lungy says, let me do it. And over he goes. You try once. If it, if it doesn't work the first time, try again. Bang. And bang over he goes. It. Was it the fast motion replay? Something a bit different? Yeah, why not, Tom? We do things a bit different. When, yeah. in, when in San Jose. That's it. Replay speed, 0.05. That's half. When you go two times, it means it's it goes double time. So there you go. Thank you for your patience at home, ladies and gentlemen. The scores are four all. Powell Stadium, San Jose. Lines up for the kick. Hits it well. Adds the extras. Scores a 6-4 in the first half. to see some of the lady Razorbacks down on the sideline cheering the uh, the Razorbacks on as we have a restart of play here 25 minutes to go in the first half fielded by the San Francisco side ball comes free picked up by the Razorbacks and just like that momentum has completely changed in the game Razorbacks on the attack 20 metres out from the try line, left-hand side of the field. Tiger bounces away from one. 
Driven back. Still going. Get back and play the ball. Often is the call from the referees out here in Championship Rugby League. Hey, get back and play the ball. Takes a dart to the left. Manitou and Aquila are there. From the same village in Tonga. Did you know that? I did not. I hope that's correct. I hope that's fact. But uh, I believe so. Also, uh, Tonga Katoa from the same uh, village in Tonga. There you go. Small world. Very small world. Scrum down is the call. You can see some of the uh, lady Razorbacks. Mona, who's uh, yelling up to the commentary box just before. Star of the Winnemucca Nines. I think she'll be out trialing for the uh, PR7s tomorrow in San Jose. Definitely deserves a spot there. Yeah, very talented. These Palo Alto's produced a lot of uh, weapons. Another one, uh, the impressive list is the San Francisco side. Switch it back on the inside. Lungy taken to the ground about 30 metres out from his own try line. Yeah, maybe a little bit too long there from the tackler. It was a good tackle, but you just got to get off there. Let the play continue. He's been good, though, the 20. You can tell he's still uh, pretty fresh, and that's Sione's brother. Uh, Talai, I believe is how you pronounce that. It'd be good to learn some more about him after the game, and hopefully we see plenty more of him in Championship Rugby League. Balls up in the stands. The ball finally makes its way back down to the field. San Francisco restart play on halfway. Comes to the right side. Plenty of players out there. Forty meters from the try line as they come to the right. Lungy in the black headgear. Powerful, powerful run. Gets the offload. A little bit of hot potato there. Going back is the call. At that time, the ball did not go back. Uh, it looks like it's flowing forward. Forward pass is the call from Junior, the referee. Been a spectacular pass if you could have got it going backwards. Again, here's that dreaded scrum. I feel like in the moments where we've got a scrum, we you know better pull something up to talk about. Let's do it, Tom. Well, let's uh, take a look at what we've got coming up next Saturday. We'll see you in Sacramento. For the battle of the two Fiji insides. Plenty of fire in this one. Let's come back to the action. There you go. Very Something nice. we can do when the scrums happen. Very nicely done, Tom. I think we should just get rid of the scrum. We'll have to put it to the, the boys. Maybe the IRL. They're the people who make the rules. Should get rid of the scrum. Yeah, we're, we're innovators here at Championship Rugby League. Well, so. we're right in the heart of Silicon Valley. Down here in... San Jose. So I can't see why not. Let's let's lead the charge. Razorbacks make the way out, their way out of their own territory. A little bit of the dark arts there from Aquila laying on top for a little too long. Knows how to get away with it. One on one, ball comes free. What's the call here from Junior? A penalty to the Razorbacks. There was two in the tackle would be the call. I 
Beautiful Steeden footballs provided by Queensland Rugby League. What do you think about Queensland Rugby League, Mark? You know exactly what I think about Queensland Rugby League, Tom. Indeed, the best state uh, in the world for Rugby League. Produced many of the best, and hopefully California can rival them one day. I vehemently disagree. With and U Utah as well, for that matter. Why stop there? And why stop there for the Razorbacks as they make their way out of their own territory? 40 metres out from their own try line on the left-hand side of the field. Scoots out a dummy half. Good footwork. Picks up a convenient seven or eight metres. Comes to the right-hand side. Well picked up. Scoots back in. And again, the space out to the left. They're into the San Francisco half here. Again, the players are all lined out. And again from dummy half, goes for the chip through. It'll be interesting to see the call here. It looks like still the Savages ball. It was a nice little play, but it's uh, cleaned up well there by the Savage. Let's see if we can... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get to see what's really going on there. Looks like maybe he's offloaded, another man's touched it, he's regathered it. And, you know, the rest is up to the referee at that point. Yeah, as the Savage here will try and make it out of their own end. It's been good defense so far, Tom. Low scoring game so far. But as we often see uh, in these games, they do start that way and in the back end of the halves, we start to see a few more points be put on. I, would, I won't be surprised one bit if that's the, what hit occurs here this afternoon. The penalty's blowing. Monatel scooted out of dummy half. Good to see him back. Uh, had, a, had a good holiday in uh, Tonga. It was good to follow his Instagram stories. It's like plenty of nice food out there. Anyway, good to have him back on the mainland. Yeah, he's a great player. San Francisco kick for touch. Doesn't look like it's going to find it. It does. It goes over the running track. Uh, Rob Beasley in the 20 jersey was there waiting to catch it, but uh, the kick was too deep. You can't ask for too much more there for the kick for touch. Plenty of uh, ground made there, and uh, the Savage will go right on the attack here. Well, they would have if uh, Referee Junior didn't make him go back to take the tap. He, uh, I think he tried to steal a few extra... Meters there, Tom. And, uh, referee Junior was not going to allow that to go. Oh, a little trick play here from the San Francisco side. Caught him offside, perhaps. And goes over. What's the call from the referee? Fantastic little play there, Tom. It's uh, very reminiscent of uh, the first try of the Razorbacks. Yeah, go. caught them napping, soft defense on the short side, and off you go. Yeah, he just uh, took a leaf out of uh, the Razorbacks' book. and As he said, shades of Max's try in the early encounters of the game. Bringing the scores now. 10-4. That's a 10-4, big buddy. San Francisco has still got three guys on their bench that they haven't used yet. Guess that traffic on the 101 must have eased right up. Yeah, the guys got here and got straight out into it. Lines it up. Hits it well. Has the distance. Scores a 12 to 4. 15 minutes left in this first half. Might be time to start getting 
the lights turned on here at Powell Stadium in San Jose, California. There's a nice silhouette of the trees in the background makes its way over the field. Hey, one day we'll have that grandstand pack, Mark. Don't you worry. Oh, absolutely, 100%. As the Razorbacks resume proceedings, the short kickoff. Fielded there by the try scorer and the conversion kicker, Tini Moimoy. Wrestled there right in front of the commentary box on halfway. He's a real live wire, isn't he? Yeah, he's got plenty of fire, doesn't he, Tini Moimoy? Switches back to Manitao. San Francisco play to the middle of the field and low grass cutting tackle there by the 12. Don't really like to see those ones too often out here. Most no. likely just a mistake. Uh, it happens. But uh, penalty awarded rightly so. Yeah, controversial tackle in these parts. Definitely something that might be review, uh, sent to the match review committee. Junior has a word, handles the situation very well, and play will resume 14 minutes left in this first half. Big kick for touch. San Francisco on the attack. 12 meters out from the try line. Takes a tap place to the right-hand side. Big defense there by the Razorbacks. Hungry on their own try line. Tino backing up for his second game of the day. Had a start at 15s earlier on. Ball knocked forward there by Matungi. Unable to grasp it. Razorbacks come up with it. So it looks like they might have been a penalty perhaps, Tom. I think he might have uh, ruled that the Razorbacks were offside there. That's the call from Junior. Straight through. Matangi Tonga puts the ball down, adds the extras. As we touched on earlier, dangerous player. We were checking up with the referee. He says, hey, boys, all offside. At the same time as that's happening, sneaky tap, Matangi Tonga bounces off Max too relatively easily at that point. Too big, too strong. Goes around, puts it close to the sticks to make it easier for his kicker. 16 to 4 with the kick to come. Uh, that's a good one for Matangi. The, due to the horrible camera work at the last event, we uh, we missed his convert. Oh, his try, the first try of uh, C at CRL one. Kick goes over. He's certainly one of their go-to players. Delivers again today. Yeah, Matangi. San Francisco player 2019 with that inaugural side, dominant. 2020, no real rugby league, obviously pandemic. 21 turns out for the Razorbacks. Uh, and then 2022, which was, you know, that last game, again, turns out for the Savage. So, it's, you know, it's great to see some of this ebb, ebbing and flowing of players uh, in the championship rugby league. He's got himself quite a highlight reel. I remember that very first game in Arinda, there was a few... Highlight reel plays there that we've used before. Yeah, definitely. Jump on YouTube. Oh, wait, you already are on YouTube if you listen to this. Fielded by Tino Muffy in the middle of the field. Good defense by the Razorbacks. Controlling tackle as San Francisco play to the left edge. Again, three Razorbacks to meet Lange there.
10 minutes left in this first half. We're told they're looking for the lights, to, the light switch to turn it on. Let's hope they find it in the next hour or two. San Francisco play the left edge. There's a bit of space. Lungy palms one off, beats two, and then wrestled into the sideline. He's going into touch there. It'll be the Razorbacks ball with nine minutes left in the half. Steps in and then swung into the sideline. Crucial part of the game here, Tom. As we always say, that 10 minutes to go at halftime can really set you up for the second half. Yeah, Razorbacks will be looking to put some points on here. Feels like they've had to do a hell of a lot of defense, the Razorback side. They have, yeah. The Savage just getting on a roll. Retaining possession. You see Sam Tiger. Got his troops there. He's going to want to march him down the field. Give me the ball. I'll do it myself, he says. They're on halfway. Little switch play. and Still with the Razorbacks. they got space out here on the left. And driven into touch. Yeah, just flirting with that uh, sideline there. It brings them undone. Savage will get the ball back here. In good field position. We have the key is the message coming over in regards to the lights. There's a Viliami taken to the ground by two hungry Razorbacks. Place to the right-hand side. Again, chips through very early in the set. It's going to hold up for them. And fielded well by the Razorbacks player who's back there. Plenty of space out to the right-hand side. Cuts through the middle. Gets the offload. Max is there. Wrestled down 35 meters from their own try line. They're on a roll here, the Razorbacks. The space out to the left. There's a great tackle to stop and there need to be made. And then a great offload. Enterprising play. Comes back to the center of the field. Again, the early chip. There's no one home. Ball comes free. Interesting to see the call here from the referee. He's going to say first knock on from the San Francisco side. East Palo Alto Razorbacks. In a commanding position here after a very exciting passage of play. He did well to get back there for it. Unfortunately, knocked the ball on, but save what was a certain try. Here we go. Your favorite part of the game is scrum. Let's see what else we can uh, talk about. February 18th, Zions Bank Stadium. We're playing in stadiums now, Mark. Not just uh, here at uh, Powell Stadium in San Jose. Also Zion's Bank in Salt Lake City County. Yeah, going to be a good one. I've actually had a look at a lot of the vision online. It, uh, it looks like a spectacular stadium with great views. <coughs> Encourage anyone who is going to be in the local area to get down there. And of course, everyone continuing watching here on YouTube. Tell your friends, tell your family. Yeah, February 18th. Pen pencil that one in the calendar. Uh, it should be, a, should be a good contest. They've had a good rivalry, those two sides, the Spartans and the Steelers. They've been uh, going at it for the last however long. Uh, in Rugby Union, 15-a-side game. Obviously, you know, Steelers, they've been around since the 70s. Here we go. Razorbacks with the feed, looking to put some points on just before half time. Great attacking opportunity for them. See Max lined out the back for the Razorbacks. Scoots out. About two meters from the try line. Max jumps into dummy half. And goes through relatively easy yet again. Try is the call. As you said before, Tom, he's just a try scorer, isn't he? Just yeah, he always seems to appear. 
bringing the scores to 16 to 8. And that's just what the Razorbacks needed. Keep themselves in the game. You see he steps into dummy half, points out, hey, come out to my right. And then off he goes, slips through the tackle of two and through the dummy, the old show and go. Easy as you like. And that's uh that's the points the Razorbacks needed to stay in this contest. They are one hundred percent in this like we've seen the last four times these guys have played. I don't think we've seen very often one team get out to too much more than a 10-point lead. It's like catch-up mode. It's always on. So four minutes left in this first half as the extras are added, bringing the scores to 10-18. It's a two-score ball game. Wonder what the progress update is on the light situation. But yeah, an interesting part of the game here. Four minutes to go. Probably got enough for uh, four possessions. Four sets of six. So plenty of time to uh, for the Savage to extend the lead here. Or the Razorbacks to narrow it down to a to a one score go. Mark, talk to me a little bit about the temperature. It feels like it's cooling down a fair bit out here. Yeah, it definitely is. That, uh, that breeze is kicking up and uh, certainly, yeah, dropped a few degrees in temperature for sure. Which I don't think the boys will uh, mind too much out there. You see Manatau is uh, with the lay rhinos from Hawaii in the Winnemarca Nines. We tried to fit them into this uh, 13 schedule. wasn't to be. What comes with, you know, travelling from the mainland to uh, the US, well, the US mainland to the islands, I should say, you know, it's quite an expensive ordeal as the Razorbacks. Quick little workout at dummy half and breaks free of one or two is, again, good footwork. Razorbacks are on a bit of a roll here. Yeah, the smaller, faster guys are certainly starting to make their mark on this contest. Big, big collision there. Yeah, I felt that up here in the commentary box. Referee uh, calls it back. Let's see if we can capture what's going on there with uh, that big collision. Showed some good restraint there. There's a chance of punches being thrown. I wouldn't go that far. And here it is. Wooshka. See the, the chalk fly up. It's almost like a power slap. The boys are live here. Shake hands. Yep. Yeah, so good restraint, as I said there before. Strict no punching policy in championship rugby league. And always good to see the boys uh, adhere to that, even when tempers fray, as they do in with such big collisions as we see in this league. Ah, the field fully, you know, covered now in uh, shadows, but still no sign of these lights. Matungi Tonga with a powerful run, 10 metres out from the try line. Manatau steps into dummy half. Options on either side. Tino plays to Lungi. Ball comes free. Opportunity lost there. Good defense by the Razorbacks. And again, you see Lungi in the big number three having a little hug. It was. If he, if he holds on to that, it's try time. So important save there from the Razorbacks as they get the ball here by the time they pack the scrum. If they can hold on to the ball. Probably one more set of six. So crucial stop there. But Coach Akilla have to be very happy with the Savages' first half. And Coach Sam Tiger will be happy. His team sticking in it, getting that try to get him back into the game. Yeah, I feel like they've had a pretty tough sort of rub of the green with penalties, the, the Razorbacks. You know, they've been on the receiving end of quite a few. Um, you know, which is just how it goes in footy. But if they, in the second half, can... Here we go. Powerful, powerful run here by the 20 again. 
dragged down about 35 metres from the try line. Yeah, as I was saying, if in the second half they can come out and give away a few less of those penalties, uh, they're going to you know, go a really long way to winning this one. 40 yeah. metres out from their own try line. No, I think you're right, Tom. If they can uh, get you know, at least an even share of possession. As you said, I think uh, the Savage have dominated. Rubbed the through there by Sam Tiger, well picked up. Fielded by the San Francisco side, and Tiger runs through and drags him down. And there's the half. Scores are 10 to 18. Razorbacks 10, Savage to 18. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at Powell Stadium, San Jose. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back in 10 minutes for more Championship Rugby League. ...are attached to the teams, not the players. With whispers of a player strike on the cards, international players from the USA Championship Rugby League have offered their services should the NRL need them. News Corp reports, the organization will contact Arl Chair Peter Vlandes to offer up their 160 players to ensure the 2023 season goes ahead. The organization's boss, Tom Stevenson, told News Corp of his plans to contact Vlandes and assure that all 160 players would be willing to fly over immediately. I have spoken with our players today and we have 160 ready to go to Australia if the NRL players go on strike, he said. Today, I reached out to the coaches to get confirmation before calling Peter Vlandes and all our coaches said their players would drop everything and be on the next flight over to Australia. While the American season is set to kick off on January 29, Stevenson revealed that he's prepared to press pause in aid of the NRL. If the strike action is to go ahead, we would instantly pause our season and send over all 160 players to help save the NRL competition. The show will go on with or without the current players, he said. If the NRL players don't think there is somebody waiting in the wings to do their job for a quarter of the money, then they are kidding themselves. Our players are ready. I am under no illusion our guys are not training in professional programs at the moment, but this move to Australia would keep the competition going for the fans and would keep the game's broadcast commitments, which is employment for a lot of people. He said, players in Australia play for clubs, not billionaire owners, and they represent the community and fans are attached to the teams, not the players.
Welcome back to the action. Second half about to get underway here at Powell Stadium, San Jose. The lights behind us have been turned on. Uh, the ones in front of us, not yet. We'll see what's happening there. But uh, you can see a little bit more uh, light making its way onto the field. When Tom Stevens says, says, let there be light, there's light. Oh, knock it off. <laughs> Scores are 10 to 18. Razorbacks with the kick to start off the second half. And like you said at halftime, there's never, uh, never that full 10 minutes at halftime. San Francisco with the ball, 20 meters out from their own try line. I love it. The boys, the boys love it so much that quick drink, quick talk, and two minutes later they're back out there and into it. It's probably the, how cold it is out there that's uh, got them enthused to keep going. As San Francisco on the attack, 40 meters out from their own try line, palms one off, palms another off, still going. Takes two of them to bring him to the ground. Picked up by Monatel at a dummy half, as we see so often. Gets the offload. And again, there's three Razorbacks hungry there to bring him to the ground. Plays short. Yeah, they got him for offside. I think it could have also been a full pass there, Tom. Yeah, it was interesting to see that one there. It's pretty close to being in line with us there, but... Uh... Referee Junior did not agree. Yeah, you can see quite a few of the players not making it back there. In that instance, the offside comes in before the forward pass. Tino Muffy wrestled down. Probably like to see more of these lights come on if possible as Matungi Tonga powers through the try scorer of the first half in the number four jersey. Brought to the ground by the other number four, Max, who's also the other try scorer. Manitou with a lot more intent in attack. And he goes through there, the San Francisco side bringing the first points of the second half. It's like Seti there. Scores now 22 to 10. That was a beautifully orchestrated try, Tom. It was indeed. A lot of intent from the San Francisco side. Power run. Just missed that one, but uh, puts it down. In front of the sticks. Just come across come across the field. Lots of time with the ball in hand, as you said. And then just he just hit a great hole. Just champagne rugby league right there. The champagne of rugby league. Lines up for the kick. Try scorer adds the two. He's had a great game. He's been, been good. Very dangerous. The team sheet's got the wrong name now. I believe that's uh, Seti. Okay. We'll have to uh, follow up with the, the team there. But he's been a sensational player for them for so long. So uh, great to see. Yeah, there's not much of him. He's just fast. He knows where to be. Hits a great hole. Damaging hole runner and yeah, just really good play to watch. So this looks like we've got a bit of an injury in back play here, Tom. Looks like it might be a bit of cramp. Pitta down there, the 28 for the Razorbacks. Again, the guy who's doing the clock didn't start it at half time, but uh, joining the action, 37 minutes and 41 seconds to go. So we have the lights on one side of the ground behind us. Get the pickle juice out. Looks like there's some cramps going on there. See if we can get a, uh, a live action shot of that. You're a big advocate of the pickle juice, aren't you, Mark? Yeah, not sure about that, Tom. Uh, Pitt has been really good for the Razorbacks in attack, so it's going to be uh, a bit of a loss for them. Hopefully he can get back on his feet pretty soon. Scores are 24 to 10. I'll just go, just go back to that, Tom. He really has it. He really come into his own there 
just before half time. Fence and then Matangi Tonga steps up for work. Gets a hand free, gets the offload. They're, they're lining up for work here, aren't they, San Francisco? So. Tonga, he never has just a, a five metre head up, is it? It's always 12, 14 metres or a nice offload or a try. Great player. As the scrum packs down here. You know, Ball managed to stay alive through all of that. Again, you know, as the sun does come down, I'm thinking these lights out here do need to come on at some stage. It's uh, local time here in San Francisco. Sorry, San Jose. Uh, 522. East Palo Alto Razorbacks against the San Francisco Savage. Peter still down in back play. Looks like Mon has brought out uh, a funny meme to show him. Hopefully cheering him up. Yeah, they... Hopefully we can get that fixed and get him back out there because he's a very important player. He just glides through the air, he doesn't does. he? He's, he's a glider. Ball fed there by uh, Rob Beasley. Brought off the back by Melly in the 20 jersey and finds his way into touch. San Francisco with the tap. Plays short. Oh, big, big collision there. Razorbacks are hungry. Driving back five meters. You could hear that one up here. Manitao plays to the left. Got numbers out there. Again, Razorbacks slow to get back. Junior willing them there. Line ball from the San Francisco. Teeny with the ball. Again, another group tackle there by the Razorbacks. Wrestle him to the ground. Timing a little off there for the San Francisco side. Three Ball's still legs. alive. Forty meters out from the attacking try line, San Francisco with the ball in the middle of the field. With Tino Muffy, he stabs through. Sumo coming through. No one's there. He's just got to gather it and dive down. Goes over. Try time. Another nice try, as you said, seen there with a little kick through. We've seen that on a number of occasions today, Tom. That they just haven't got the execution right. But here he goes. Goes to the line, engages the defenders, puts it on the toe. Great support play on the inside, chases through. And this is a difficult pickup too. Looking to get down there, they're not easy. Holds onto it and gets the ball down. Great rugby league try there by the Savage. Scores are 28 to 10 after that try by uh, Sumo. They've got a production line of talent out here in the Bay, don't they? Between the Razorbacks and the Savage. You know, there's moments of nerve. It's like, oh, where are these, you know, where are the players going to come from? And... There's just another bloke waiting in the sidelines, ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. I'm uh, very impressed by every time we have a game. You know, there's new talent, new players we haven't seen before. And uh, it's a credit to both coaches and the culture of the clubs that they represent. Scores are 30 to 10 early on in this second half. I've been very impressed with uh, Melly in the number 20 jersey. Uh, obviously, Sione's younger brother, I dare say, with that surname, which I'm not even going to attempt. Um, apologies, but I don't want to do it uh, any Just disservice. <laughs> but being a sensational find, I'd love to yeah, find out more about uh, him after the game. Restart from the Razorbacks. Awkward bounce. Knocked on and picked up by the Razorbacks. And here they go, the number 12. Flirts with the sideline. Quick play of the ball. Beasley in the middle of the field. Exactly what the Razorbacks needed to try and get back into this game. All offside is the call.
Yeah, that was exhilarating. Got the horrible bounce there, and then the Razorbacks regained it, and here they are on the attack. Beasley with the tap. Out to the right-hand side. Slips away from one. Bounces from another. Two bring him to the ground. Good to see Pitto back on his feet for the Razorback side. Burrows and just short. They're lining up. Here's the big man. You're not going to stop him that close to the line. And he knows it as well. Very happy with it. He deserved that. He's uh, had a couple of big hits in defense. He's added some energy. And for a big man, moves really well. Big man moving. Number three lines up. Here he goes. Bang. You're not going to stop me this close. Burrows over and confidently puts it down. Look at the big smile. Yeah, he really, he really changed the complexion of the game when he came on with a couple of big, big hits in defence. And then good to see him with his opportunity with the ball, makes the most of it. And that's a great try. Yeah, you saw that collision on the sidelines over here with Lungy and the chalk goes flying. Yeah. That was sensational. There's nothing better in rugby league than a big man moving fast. Big man moving. Extras waved away. Scores of 14 to 30. About 30 minutes left here in the second half. The light is starting to light up a portion of the field. Uh, it would be sensational if it could light up the whole field. Obviously, those of you on the screen can see a great picture. And if you can't, I'm sure you're commenting in the, the section about how horrible the picture is. But yeah, just, just when you think that the Savage are taking control of this game, instant hit back there from the Razorbacks. Short restart there, picked up very easily by the Razorbacks. Powerful run, powerful contact there. And ball comes back to where it started on halfway. Here he is, the try scorer. Getting the yards out again there. The smiling assassin in the number three. He's a crowd favorite here. Comes out to the left-hand side. Razorbacks have got an overlap. Gets the offload. And again, ball still alive. Great attack here from the Razorbacks as the ball finds its way onto the ground. Yeah, just a slight knock on there. Scrum down will be the call. Well seen there by Junior, even though he's on the other side of the field. Flying gets the flick and unfortunately doesn't quite get a grasp on it. For those of you just tuning in, please, uh, we'll see you next Saturday up in Sacramento. Two, you know, fierce rivals. Both uh, predominantly Fijian players coming head to head. Look forward to seeing you back on the live stream. We'll be here every Saturday from here on through, so. Hey, you're going to be up there in time, so. on the attack here. And again, it's a group hunger, hungry, hungry defense from the Razorbacks. There's three of them. Three of them the 
goes out to the right hand side. San Francisco on a roll. Finds the ground, picked up by a Razorbacks player. With 26 minutes left in this game, what's the call here from the referee? himself as he strikes it well. Direction over. It's a 10 point ball game. Scores at 20 to the Razorback, 30 to the Savage. Versus on this one, but we're in for a hell of a finale. Absolutely. What's your take on the lights? Um, I think we're okay. Going to be enough to get through. I think so. 22 minutes left on the clock. San Francisco restart play. Fielded off the shoulder and bounces into touch. Very unlucky there from the Razorbacks player. Yeah, well. No, I think those lights have already made a big difference, Tom. Manitow with the uh, restart. Plays to Lungi. Five meters out from the try line. Plays to the left hand side. Tino Muffy sniffs the try line like it's a McDonald's cheeseburger, but doesn't get the bite on it. Manitow out of dummy half. Good defense by the Razorbacks on their own try line. 
Tino plays short. Ball comes out. Still alive. Try scorer with the ball. And again, Razorbacks driving back. It's two in the tackle. It'll be interesting to see the call from the referee here. I'm not sure if it's a penalty or he's just asking him to play the ball again. See, there's two in the tackle and the ball. Oh, you know, he could have got away with that if he didn't come up holding the ball. <laughs> exactly. A little too... Uh, A little too obvious in that instance. Right call. <laughs> About 21 minutes left here on the clock. Yeah, the Savage want to put another try here. They've seen their lead whittled away. Matungi Tonga drives forward five metres from the try line. Manatel swings it wide. There's a bullet pass, well taken. And the def defense was also equal to the task. They've got numbers to the right here if the Savage can get it out here. Messy play. Fifth, fifth tackles the call. <laughs> it looks like they might get a penalty here and get a fresh set of six. Tungi Tonga goes over. Kind of out of something out of nothing there. It was a. Uh, yeah, it was a. Again. Slightly just out of nowhere. It was a little too easy. But that, that man again. We've been singing his praises all day. And he's in for another one. Yeah, brings his tally up to three for the season. Gee, we might have to start. Uh, a point scorer's record. We've got uh, the MVP and the, the team, you know, ratings, rankings, call them what you will. He's definitely up there with, what, 12 points? 100%. As they look to uh, add the extras here. Thirty-six to twenty. Razorbacks hungry on their own fifty meter line, well the halfway line in fact, ready to resume play. About eighteen minutes left in this encounter. Starting to get pretty dark in some of the corners of the field. We should make it there. Great restart there from the Razorbacks player. Let bounce by the San Francisco side. And then knocked on. And the Razorbacks have come through. It's going to be a try. I don't think I've ever seen quite seen a try like that, Tom. Let bounce. Try is awarded 24 Again, we had a bit of a blurry camera there, but he goes over. That's a try. Yeah, that's as quick as you'll ever see a try off a restart. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one like that before, as I said. But it's just an awful bounce there for the Savage. And full credit to the Razorbacks. You know, kick chase, getting through there. Jolly on the spot and scores probably the easiest try I'll ever score. To add the extra, strikes it well. Pitt has been sensational. One of the best players on the field, no doubt, recovering from the the cramps, gliding in attack, chipping through, converting. He can do it all. Yeah, perhaps a question of uh, what's going on with the lights in that corner of the field, but... We will get through it.
San Francisco with the restart from the halfway line. Goes long from Sumo. Fielded well by the Razorbacks player. Steps off his left, steps off his right. 30 meters out from his own try line in the middle of the field. Tiger into dummy half. Skips, gives it. There's some space out there. They're on, a, they're on a roll here and there's some more space. Steps back on the inside. Here he goes. They're not going to be able to stop him. Absolutely Whoa. sensational play from the Razorbacks as the 24 goes over to score. Vincent Hugues. I don't know. How I believe this is the Frenchman. It looks like a French sounding surname. What a try. Steps back on the inside. And that's just pure speed. Fantastic try. Wow, he's one to watch. Vincent. Vincent, can he go? Can't he go? Oh, there you go. Is 30 it? to 36. With the kick to come, Peter, the man with the golden boot, lines it up to add the extras. Love to see it. Yes, as we've got um, some young supporters here. I'm just going to ask Declan Nichols. Declan, what have you made of your first live game of Championship Rugby League? It's been a good game so far. Some good hits, some good scores. Would you come again and watch this, Declan? Yes. Breeding the fans young here at Championship Rugby League. Thank you, Brad. Uh, Mark, as we come back to the action, scores are 32 to 36. 14 minutes to go. Good work, Declan. La Marinda, a rugby player. Future star in the making. I thought he'd stick around here to watch the championship rugby league. And certainly glad he has. Watching a fantastic game here. And look at the scores. Just like that, 14 minutes to go, 32 to 36. You can't make it up. We say it every time we're here, but it's, it just keeps happening. All you fans out there on YouTube, oh. can't, say, can't say we didn't tell you this would happen. Comes flying through. Ball comes free. It can be interesting to see what the call is there. Knock back. Play on. Peter gliding again. Switches back to Vincent, the try scorer. They've got lots of fast feet around the middle there, and it's, it's causing a lot of uh, havoc for the... San Francisco side comes out to the edge. More space. Breaks away from another. Here he is again, the big number 20. <laughs> Set a big second half. Melly. What a player. One for the future. Again, he's on the list of people we can't find a way to can't wait to find out more about, rather. Again, the offload. They're just powering around this left edge here, the, the Razorbacks. Pita. Glides back and hits Tiger in the hands and bounces forward. Picked up by Lungy Lungy. Just Vincent to beat. He's in some space. Max is chasing him. There's three, three Razorbacks and they bring him down. He's 20 meters out from the try line. 13 minutes left in this contest. Tini Moy Moy into dummy half. Show great desperation, the three defenders there. But Tini Moy Moy steps and goes himself. He's going to go over and score. He loves to celebrate before he scores. We've seen that one before. Adds the extras, bringing the scores to 40 to 32. Teeny Moy Moy steps into dummy half. Points one way. Ah, I'm going that way. Just yeah. Max and one other to beat. It's going to be tough for him to defend it. Yeah, just the savage, the play before, picking it up against the run of play. A little bit of a showboating. Bye-bye. Yeah. Why not, though? And just as the Savage were uh, on the attack and looking like they're coming to take this clash, the Savage hit right back. Yeah, picked up by Lungy Lungy, bust through. Looked like he's going to go all the way. It was some uh, good desperate defence there by three of the Razorbacks to bring him down. But unfortunately, they couldn't get the rest of the team back there to stop that try. 
But again, as we said, it's you know opening up at the end of both halves again with lots of points being scored and lots of fantastic tries. Hits it well. It's a 10-point ball game. Down here at Powell Stadium, as you can see, the lights have come on. Nighttime right. football, beautiful to see. We, for those of you who have been following for the game, we've been uh, trying to get these bad boys on for a while. Let there be life. Beautiful San Jose backdrop out there as the East Palo Alto Razorbacks with the restart. Eleven minutes or thereabouts left in the contest. Good kick by the Razorbacks, but fielded there by Vili. Takes one, Melly brings him down. Manitou in the dummy half. Plays off to Matangi. Powerful, powerful run again. I like this headpiece here from the number 17 for the Razorbacks. As San Francisco played that left edge through Sumo. Gets the offload. Very close to the sideline and he's gone out. Razorbacks ball. They're going to want to get on their horses here. It's definitely the opportunity to put on a try or two. We've seen him do it before. It's been end to end. This last stanza. Last 15 minutes or so. Just as we expected. But Tom, I don't know about you. I certainly, I'm, I'm no closer to predicting who's going to win this one. Yeah, it's hard to say. You can't write, yeah. You, you got to wait till the end of the game to tell yeah. me who's won. You know, the Savage with a 10-point lead, but as we've seen, the Razorbacks can quickly pour on the points. And the players with the Savage <laughs> with this 10-point lead, knowing who their opposition is. He's got an injured player in the background there. See, Sam Tigers with the ball. He's ready to get this show on the road. Mindful that there's 10-odd minutes left. What's he saying to him? Come on, brother, hurry up. Let's go. Nine minutes and 20 seconds on the official clock, but the referee's clock will be slightly different. We'll be using his signal. Razorbacks on the attack. Down by 10 points, Sam Tiger jumps into dummy half. Scoots from one. You can't even get mad at him for having the wrong shorts after that try, can you? No. You can't. Driven back. And a couple of the big hits too that preceded that. Yeah, highlights, real moments. Vincent, the try scorer, flicks it back. There's Max, the other try scorer. Stutters and beats him on the outside. Flirts with the sideline. Boom! Pushes him off. Sends Seti flying. Jumps into dummy half. Peter lets it sing. Number one for the Razorbacks. Balls hit out. That's a very enterprising set of, uh, set of play they there have, from the Razorbacks. They've been throwing the ball around nicely. These last few sets of six. And it's uh, really opening up for them. They're just that, that last pass is letting them down sometimes. But look, they're down by 10 points with, you know, around six, seven, eight minutes to go. So they've got to test. you got to. you got to. you got to give it a shot at this this point in the contest as it continues to cool down here in San Jose so we're doing this scrum thing again Tom's it's favorite part of the game good opportunity to catch your breath as San Francisco with the attacking opportunity deep in their own territory Ball comes free. Let's see what's happened here. Scrum down is what uh, Junior's call. He's going to say it's a San Francisco ball. So steps back on the inside. Looks like it's hit out. He's going to say it's hit forward by the Razorbacks player. 
uh, Millie knocks it forward. Back down with the action here. San Francisco feed the scrum. Breaks from dummy half. And again, there's three of them to meet him. On the right-hand edge of the field here. 20 meters out from the try line. Manatau plays to Matangi. Oof, and there's two of them. Driving back five meters. Powerful defense. Tino Muffy dances. Scoots out a dummy half, plays it to Tini Moimoy, steps back on the inside, jukes him. Looks like Lungy's there without the headgear, pushes one off. Very close to the sideline here. We're just complimenting the Razorbacks for some enterprising play. We'll the Savage hit back with some equally enterprising play there as they go deep on the attack here. About five minutes left in the contest. Tino Muffy skies it. Let to bounce. Unfavorable for the Razorbacks and picked up by the San Francisco side. Wow, talk it. We've seen some crazy bounces of the football in this game. Yeah, it brings the scores to 46. And that was certainly one of them. I, I, I thought that ball was going dead for all money. Shoes it. Tino Muffy goes high. Let to bounce. And it comes on through. Incredible. Tips it back and all he has to do is just catch it and die it down. As I said, for all money, I thought that was bouncing dead in goal there. But credit to the Savage. They didn't give up on the play. Followed through. And we're rewarded with four points. I guess the lesson out of that one is you can't let the ball bounce uh, when it's in your own in goal area. You've got to jump on those as, as best you can. But, you know, those big swirling ones as well, they're, they're tough to, to get into your grip. Yeah, absolute nightmare. You would have been under a few ones like that in your time, surely, Mark. No, thankfully not. <laughs> Slices it to the left. Conversion unsuccessful. Scores are 32 to 46. Razorbacks are ready and hungry. About five minutes left on the clock was the call from the referee, Junior, who's done a fantastic job here backing up from playing a rugby game earlier. Yeah, as we said before, really good referee. Keeps it open, but also keeps the players honest. And that Scoots through here. Powerful run again. 35 minutes out from the try line. And Tom, this is why we keep coming back every week, isn't it? Because the players have certainly rewarded us and all the spectators here with a, another great spectacle. As Declan said before, plenty of uh, big hits and some fantastic tries. You could, as a spectator, you couldn't ask for much more. Ball's still alive here on the halfway line. Plays the ball through to Monatau. Could have him back in Championship Rugby League. As there's three Razorbacks to swing him to the ground. Tino Muffy slices through the middle. The fullback to beat. Still going. Gets the offload. Space out wide. Swings it. Tap forward by a Razorback player. Goosey. What's going to be the call here from the referee as he touches it down? It's going to be no try. I'm going to say a forward pass, I believe, is the call from Junior on the field. But uh, Tino Muffy manages to get the ball free. And then slings it. That's the pass there in question. Oh. There you go. Referee on the spot. I was about to say, it did look all right to me. Yeah, he's called it flat. <laughs> he's in a better spot than I am. Bring the scores to the half century. 50 to 32 with a kick to come. You trust the referee when he's on the ground for that one. And Tom, was there uh, any MVP voting or anything like that? Yeah, the, the system's actually been updated, Mark. Thank you for asking. So the coach for the Razorback, Sam Tiger, will submit three players from the other side. 
uh, as well. Quilla Wyaselli will submit three players from his from the other side. Sorry, uh, and then the independent panel comprising of player managers and administrators from around the world will select three players. Uh, and then later this evening, on the website championshiprugbyleague.com, uh, votes will be available. There's a great strike there from the San Francisco side, bringing the scores to 32 to 52. Full time down here at uh, Powell Stadium, San Jose. Good game, Mark. There yeah, you go. fantastic, Tom. As I said just before, uh, these two teams never let us down. Wonderful game. Yeah, sensational. And privileged to be here and uh, watch these two teams go at it again. That's actually the first win for the San Francisco Savage. Which is a big deal. Ever against the East Palo Alto Razorbacks. Which is a big deal. As we said, you know, they are uh, got this budding rivalry, which is uh, alive and well. And it's good to see the Savage get on the board. And uh, I'm just looking forward to many, many more clashes between these two great teams. It's a bit cold outside, isn't it, Mark? Yeah, it's getting very fresh. We're going to get the guy to whoever's doing these things to, yeah, you go full time. But yeah, to go over the MVP, Sam Tiger will submit three players from the Savage. Aquila Wyaselli will submit three players from the Razorbacks. The independent panel will select three players. Uh, then the voting will be online on the Championship Rugby League website, championshiprugbyleague.com. Uh, if you're listening, get up there tonight or tomorrow morning when you wake up and vote. Uh, it's plenty of amazing players. You know, Max had a good game.